Hey ladies, so I want to share with you guys a really cool product that we launched in the month of May. It's called our Sculpting Trio and it is a contour set. And um, I don't know about you guys, but contouring for a lot of people can be very intimidating. People don't know how to do it, what to use, where to put it. And so Unique came out with a very simple, easy process to help you out with that. So it comes in this really cool you can hear, it's like a little magnetic, really pretty case. I mean, look at that. It's a gorgeous design. So when you open it up, if you can see without the glare, it gives you three different products to use on your face and it tells you where to put them. You have your contouring, which shows you where, if you can tell where the brown is, it tells you where you're supposed to contour with this product. And the highlighting, it shows you where you should highlight and then it comes with this last product here, which is a 3D illuminator, which just gives an extra amount of highlight. It's great for going out. It gives a little more shimmer and reflects light a little bit more, so it's so pretty. So I'm gonna show you guys how to apply this, just how easy it is and the look that you can get. And I love it because it's pretty dummy proof. Now in the month of May, it came with our contouring brush free. Unfortunately, they're not offering this. This was a monthly kudos, but these two pair really, really well together and we do sell both of these on our um, website. You can use another type of brush, but I can't guarantee that um, it's gonna work just as well. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So starting out with the contour part, you use the darkest shade here and you use the flat end of it. Now this is actually a cream base. And how you use it is you just get it on your brush. Now, if you need to get a little bit more, I found a trick you breathe on, you go and you can get a little bit more on there if you want it darker. Now, how you find where you're contouring, it's gonna show you, but just to give you an idea, so you'd want to contour where the cheekbone, right underneath the cheekbone here, and that's gonna give you that look like you haven't eaten in like three weeks. So you go up to your hairline here and you're just gonna Bring it on down. You can also suck in and find that. Now I know that you're thinking, oh, that's really dark, and it is. It's darker also because I breathed on it so I can get a little darker. So if you got it and you're like, put it on, you're like, oh, I can't really tell. Just on it and it'll warm it up and you'll get more product. But the trick is you want to blend. So you bring that in there. I'm only going to do just half my face so you can see here. So also it shows you where else to do it. So you want to do up along the forehead area. So, and I have kind of a wider forehead, so I don't mind bringing it down a little further. If your forehead is pretty small, you probably don't want to contour much, if at all. And make sure you bring it into the hairline. You don't want a gap there. And yeah, I always wear, I always wear my sunglasses on my head. I go inside and outside all the time with my kids outside playing and inside, so I just leave them on my head. And they act like a headband. And then you can do the side of your nose, so you bring it right in there. And then you can do underneath. And you can do a little bit under your chin. And then to sculpt the jaw, you can go down underneath here, sculpting the jaw. So you can already tell, and I know it doesn't look the best right now, I will blend it out. So this is un um, contoured side, contoured. So next we're gonna come in in the middle part here, we're gonna do our highlighting. So there's a couple key places where you do your highlighting. And I find, this is, you use the other side, the paddle side, I find if you stroke like this, you get a little bit of product on, but I like to wiggle it. If you wiggle it, you get a little bit more product on here. And then you would do right in the chin there, underneath where you did your contour. And then you'd wanna do Underneath the eye area here, there's a little triangle space. If you think right outside the eye here, you come down into a triangle from the inner corner and down to a triangle. This whole section here, and it shows you on here, kind of shows you more to do around the area, but I like to come in down a little bit more. Okay, and then you can go right above the brow, right in the middle of the forehead here and then down the nose. 
So we highlighted those areas. So as you can see, a little bit more definition here as opposed to here. Now there's another trick that I like to do. I like to add my blush into this. You don't have to. Um, but it's called a Neapolitan. And if you think about the Neapolitan ice cream, it's chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. So we have our chocolate. We did some vanilla, but I'm actually gonna add the strawberry. Strawberry being my blush. So I'm taking one of our colors here. This is colored sweet. I'm gonna get a little on the blush. This is optional. I choose to do this. You don't have to. Um, if you didn't want to do this, you would just skip this step here. But I like to add a little bit of blush right in there, that area there. That kind of sweetens up a little bit. Now I'm going to blend that out. I know that looks a little funny, but I'm going to blend that out. And then so the last step would be your um, illuminated highlight. Now this is, um, I don't know if you can hear my dog going crazy. I think somebody's here. <gasps> Um, you would just get a little bit of that highlight on there and use your finger. And if you want to, again, warm it up a little bit, you can warm it up and then you're just going to dab it and it'll show you instructions on the highest point of the cheek, down the bridge of the nose. And you could do right in the brow area there. And then to blend it out, all right, buddy, you can just take this side or you can take like a blush brush, a fluffier brush, and just blend it so you don't have harsh lines. And there you go. So we have our uncontoured side and our contoured and sculpted side. So as you can see there, that's a fairly big difference. So nothing really going on there. And then we have our contoured and sculpted side. So I love it. I love to be able to have just that little bit of definition there, just to give you a little bit more look. So that's how you use this sculpting trio. It's very simple to use. And there's comes in three shades. You have a light, a medium, and a dark. I'm using the lightest shade. And then we have medium for, you know, your medium skin tone and dark for your darker skin tones. So if you have any questions and want, to help, want me to help color match, I'll be happy to do so. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.